Okay, I am back to do some trading today. It is Wednesday, October 22nd, 2014. And uh, I'll come back, and uh, as soon as I make a trade, I'll come back. I'm going to do two, three trades today, and that's all I'll need. And um, call it a day. So I'll be back to take the first trade shortly. Okay, I've just taken a short position here. Not as good as not as good as entry as I would have liked to have had, but as long as it makes it down. As long as it makes it down twenty ticks. That's all I care about. Okay, so I will be back in just a few minutes or whatever. I'll be back to update you on this trade and to show you the outcome. But it should be good for twenty ticks. So I'll be right back. Okay, here we go. It's going for the exit. Okay, not quite. I'll come back. I've placed a stop for break even at 81.75 up there. It's either going to come down or it's not. And if it wants to go back up, I'll just break even on this trade and take another one. I'll come back. It's just sitting down here at 64. It's going to go one way or another. <laughs> it go, if it goes up, it's just going to break me even. If it goes down, it's just going to hit the exit. So it's just one way or another. And I'm going to let it happen one way or another. <laughs> a, lot of, a lot of newbie traders will just get out right here. And sometimes they'd be right, and sometimes they'd be wrong. But mathematically, if you always play it, this way you'll come out the way that I come out and you'll make successful trades and get what you should get instead of 500 get a thousand or you know instead of getting 10 ticks you get 20 then you'll see ones that you could have easily gotten 40 or 50 or 60 you say oh why didn't I go for it keep the math high <laughs> I've already made this a mathematical study for eight years I know what the best thing to do is. So, you can just play like me. You do, you'll, you'll do like me. <laughs> okay, so I'll come back and take another trade or two, and uh, then I'll be done for the day. Okay, I've taken another short position here. Go short. And, um, just calculate my out really fast. Okay, it won't be too bad if I lose. Okay, I will come back shortly and show you the progression and, of course, the outcome of this trade. Okay, I thought for a second that it might be offset by one because I went back and checked, and it it would be valid if it did, but um, it's not now. It's been confirmed that it's not offset, so we're good to go. Should be good here. I'm just once I get out about 10, 12 ticks, I'll put a protective stop on it. Because we are getting at the bottom of the code 2 here. We are real close to the bottom here. We're already like 100 and... Oh, we're almost 200. So we're like 180 now. So we're almost there. What's it doing? It's not rolling up on me, is it? Okay, we'll see what this thing does. But it's definitely getting close to, a, to the bottom of the chart. So it's kind of risky down here. Hope it doesn't turn around and roll up. Remember how I talk about it rolling down? Sometimes it'll go tight and roll back up again. But I knew it was risky when I went in. But I figured it would go down maybe 20 more, make a 200 tick day, and then boom, that's it. 200 ticks. You see, I've been doing that lately. But I knew it was a little bit risky. But it's the code, so, you know, it's always risk in every trade you take. But this is the code. It still says go short, and there is no, um, there's no offset, so it's fine. Should, should be going down unless it's going to go tight. I'll come back. If this one goes short here, it'll be good. It'll drop down. If it goes long, it won't be. It'll it'll roll up and go upward. I mean, you know, it'll roll up and go up instead of go down. But if this one goes short, it'll go down. I'll come back. Show it to you. 
if it goes long I'm just gonna let it go let it hit the stop that's only 12 tick loss so you know it's a way to manage them okay it's gone short it should drop down here should drop down where's the bottom at the bottom is at uh, 11 so I just need to see it break through the bottom and then it'll break through into our exit at 03 should be able to make it that'll make 200 ticks for today uh, let's see yeah it'll be like 200 ticks which is which is right about what it's been going off the code to or I mean um, for, for the daily well actually the code 2 is 200 ticks but that's also the daily range as well so uh, see it's getting tight down here it's really getting tight as soon as it drops down to like right here I'm gonna place a break-even stop on it it's just getting tight you see how it just doesn't want to drop down Come on, don't roll up on me. No, I still got a short entry off of code one here. I got two actually, two short entries off code one. Should drop down here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to wait wait till it drops down to about 13 or so, right about here, and I'm going to put a break even stop on it. I'll come back. Okay, break even stop has been placed. It went down to where I wanted it to go. See what it's doing is it's coming down, double bottoming down here. It's either going to pop back up, <laughs> which it just did. Or it's going to drop below. <laughs> so, but it may jump up like that and then come right back down and drop out on me. And so I just made the wrong move. But that's trading, unfortunately. Yeah, look at it. It's going to drop down here. Ah. That's what I get for playing too conservative. Look at that. It's just going to drop down here. It's also going to give another code one short entry. Yeah, it's a code one short again. I don't want to take this one though because, well actually that's three. That's one, two, three code one short entries. Nah, eh, listen, I'm telling you, this is why you want to know code two. We are at the bottom. We are most likely mathematically at the bottom of a code two chart. It may go down to about 81, but that's about it. It's bottoming out down here. Now it might not be. It might. We are going into code two here, so it might make a big bottom. It might make go down really big, and maybe make 250 today or something like that as a as a bottom for the code two. It's possible. Or it'll come back up, and then later go down more. So, but the point is, is that no matter what it does, whether it goes up or down, mathematically, it's risky. You know, no matter which way you're going to go. Except for there is three code ones to go short. But if I was already in, I would hold it. No problem for the 20 ticks. But I'm not going to get in here and chase it. It's getting too close to the bottom. So at any time, this thing's going to reverse and go back the other way, possibly. And I don't want to take a quick loss if it does. So I'll just wait wait for the proper entry. I had the proper entry and I gave it up with a break even stop just now and I would um, you know getting close to the exit. 03 would be my exit. You know getting closer. I don't know if it's going to make it or not but there it goes getting closer and closer so I'd almost be there but see how bouncy it is and tight it is? This doesn't want to go down, does it? Not too much, anyway. Not yet, anyway. It might. It might drop out here, but... There still is three code one short entries on the chart. You see? See it snapping back up? You see what I'm saying? That's, that's the reason why you want to know where the code two is and what it's being good, what it's good for every day. And by knowing that information, you can use that to your advantage. Because you know, it's, it's math, math. I mean, sure, it might be a 300 day, it might be a 500 day, it might be, you know, whatever. But mathematically, is that what's going to happen? No. Mathematically, it's going to be the same as it usually is. Anyway, it's getting a bit jumpy. Um, I don't know what it's going to do. Go up or down. Code still says go down, so. Until um, that changes, but um, 
But anyway, I'll come back and I am going to possibly take another code one entry. Actually, yeah, I will take another one. We'll take one into the one trade per day. But instead of taking it the regular way, let's just use the code on it, the code one, into the code two. Just like I did yesterday. Same thing. So I will be back shortly to do that. As you can see, and I just like to point out that, well, this time it looks like I made the right decision. And I knew that it was getting close to the bottom. And this would actually be a bottom right here on the 10 minute chart. It's a bottom. Let me take a look at the daily real fast. Yeah, no, it's not a bottom on the daily, but, well, actually, well, no, it's not a bottom on the daily, but it's a bottom on the 10 minute right here. And, you know, I just knew that this right here, this bot, I said 81, that's, this is actually 200 ticks right here. And so, you know that the range has been running between one, you know, 140, 180, or 200. It already broke through 140, already, you know, it just broke through 180, now it's gone 200. So, you know, process of elimination, you know that this is pretty close to the bottom right here. And so you have to be watching short entries from this point forward. You know, you really want to see a actually see a bottom and start to see long entries off of it off of off the code code one so you can start going long off the chart instead of short you see how you can use that to your advantage because it moves the same almost every day so you see it's not just it's it there's many ways to use the code the code is just a matrix for the movement there's all kinds of strategies that you can develop based upon that that matrix based, based upon that movement there's all different kinds of ways you could play it I could probably come up with hundreds of different trading strategies based upon it depending upon you know what you want to do what your goal was how you wanted to play it many different ways anyway um, I am going to come back shortly and I'll take at least one more trade for today but for the record, my exit was at 03, it went to 07, so it did make it. It was tight. And I knew that that was a, a um, risk right before I even took it. Okay, just for the record, uh, my last trade, the code never got broken. So if I would have just held it to either it went to... Well, either if, if I hadn't have placed a break even stop on it, gotten stopped out, and it held the original stop that I had, code never got broken, and it made it to the exit for 20 ticks. So technically, the last trade was good for 20 ticks. I just played it wrong by playing a break even stop on it. So does that mean I should not play break even stops? No. It just simply means that on this particular one, it was the wrong move to make. Now, had it gone up, then it would have been the right move. You can't always make the right move, and you will do it. You'll make the wrong move a lot. Just try to make it so that when you make the wrong move, you're still up. Whereas when you make another kind of wrong move, you'll be down there's a big difference okay I'll be back to take more trades or at least one more okay for those of you code players out there uh, this is a good day for you to learn from okay I'm gonna point something out to you I'd like you to learn this now I was gonna teach this in my charting start a charting service and teach this but I figure I'll go ahead and show it to you right now um, You'll you notice, uh, you know, every three hours they're changing it, right? So, uh, you see what the code is for today. You see, uh, what you're, if you look on the chart, you'll see that it's been offset. But it didn't show offset the whole time until just now. They've been throwing that in. In other words, they... They show, they show you something, they show you something, they show you something, they show you something, and then all of a sudden, boom, you'll find out it's offset. And they'll take it one way, they take it the other. So if you, if you they'll try to catch you like that. So you have to, you have to watch out for that. 
you have to watch out for that. It's a trick. There's a, there's a couple different ways that you can go about to get around that trick. A couple different ways. I'm going to teach that in my charting. But just I wanted to point that out to you so that you could you could see what what they're doing. Is it, you know, awareness is halfway there. You know, now you can take steps to try and um, minimize that so that you don't get caught into those. You could take steps, but if you're not even aware of it, then you don't even know what to, you don't even do anything because you don't even know what to do. I'm just trying to point it out to you right now. They've been doing it a lot. They're doing it consistently. So they you so what can we do? Use that to our advantage. <laughs> See, that's their weakness. <laughs> that's their inherent weakness. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna come back. Um, and the reason why you didn't see me uh, take that one is because if you look at the chart, what you saw right there, it's just up and down. It's too choppy. And plus, I said we're we're close to a bottom off the code two. Um, it just it just doesn't look good. And and um, you know, it, it plus we're coming up into a code two, and this is naturally more risky anyway because it'll it'll have a tendency to do more chop and go up and down in a radical movement. And you know, it just it's sometimes they're they're really good setups and sometimes they're not. Today just wasn't a good setup. So um, a good setup would be, let's say, it was going down and then extended, or it was going up and then extended. That would be a good setup, but already broken out, not in the middle of a of a of a choppiness range. That's where it was. So I don't want to bother. Okay, so I'm going to come back and take. What I'm going to do is I'm not going to take the regular code the one trade per day code two I'm gonna use the code one as the entry since I know what the code one is and whichever way that take you know whichever way that goes it'll be you know it's usually always in the right direction unless it's already made a big move which it hasn't been doing lately so that technique should work really well and it has been working really well and it, hopefully it'll work really well again today we'll make another 20 ticks okay I'll be back for that trade Okay, right down here, we're at 230 ticks down on the code 2. So you've got to figure right here is, you know, it's a good bet that this is the bottom down here. I mean, I suppose, I mean, we are going down on the daily and everything, so this could be a big day, you know, to see what the code 2 actually says coming up. But, uh, you know, just mathematically, 230 is about the bottom. They go... Let's see, what have they been running lately? Actually, 230 is pretty, pretty high. It's been running 220 on the high side. Otherwise, it ran, what, 3, 430, and 500. But, I mean, those were special days. This is 230 right here. That's, that's pretty far. Probably not going to go much further. But, you never know. Anyway, uh, I'll be taking a trade here shortly. This thing is at 240 now on code 2. 240 ticks. Can't possibly be going much more unless it's going to be a huge day. This is going to be, you know, 300, 300, 350, whatever, 400, 500. And I seriously doubt that. I'll bet you it just made a bottom right there at 240. It's going to go up now. I'm waiting, I'm waiting for, for an entry. 250 ticks now off of code 2. I don't know what it's doing here. I don't know if this thing is going to drop down even more, make it be a big, huge day today, or if this thing is going to reverse and go back the other direction. It looks like it's going to drop out to me. I'm just waiting on the uh, code right now. I want to get mathematical confirmation before I take an entry. Um, I will be back shortly. 260 ticks off of code 2. This is highly unusual. Highly unusual here. The ranges definitely seem to be increasing. You gotta keep a close eye on this. I'm gonna start tracking it every day. I'll put it into the blog and we'll start tracking the ranges on this thing because uh, it is important to know. I'll be back. Okay, code two. Code two has just given a short entry. To go short, I'm not going to take it because I'm going to demonstrate using a code one 
entry into this code to trade. Sometimes it won't work because let's say for instance it just drops down, it just drops out right here, which it might do. It might just drop out. Um then it it's not gonna work. But if it comes back up first and then gives us an entry to go short and then goes down, then it'll work great. So it just depends on what it does. But even if it does drop down and doesn't come back up to give that short entry, that code one entry will still work for probably 20 ticks. Whether we might already be at the bottom when that, then we're going back up, or it might be that it dropped down and then came back up, then it'll drop down again, whatever it is, it'll still work. So that's what I'm going to take because no matter what, that one will work. But if I take it here and then it snaps back up 20, it's going to stop me out. So this trade could be a loser at that point. So no matter what, I'll just take the code one and it'll work for 20 ticks. That's all that really matters, isn't it? doesn't really matter anything else. Sometimes that code one works perfect with this code two trade. Sometimes it doesn't. We'll find out which one it, it, this one is. I do not know. We'll find out together. I'll come back. But just for the record, if you would have taken it, right when the indicator went off, you'd be short at 40 and you'd be getting out at 20. So at 80, 20 would be the exit. And just to do a little math here on this trade, uh, you'd be in short at 40. If it goes back up to 60, it would be stopped out for 20 ticks. It went down uh, roughly, uh, what, 11 ticks from your entry to go short, if you had taken it. And you need to get out at 20. And um, if you were to play the halfback technique, it would be up to 70. 70 would be your short entry here. So that's where you'd go short. I'm just going to use code 1. I will be back shortly. Okay, I've taken a short entry here. Remember I said it was offset before? They may offset it here. Oh, I think they did. I'm just going to get out. Actually, I could reverse position. Make it ready to get out. Come on, go down. Go down, give a short entry. See, I could have just waited. I should have just waited. I should have just waited. That way I could have told, I could have easily told which way. Okay, let me pause the video. I'll come right back. I have tightened the stop up to 51. And we'll see what it's going to do here. Be right back. Okay, it just came up and got me. Now, what's happening is it's just getting really super tight. And it just showed that the offset was the one to go with again. So basically it's gave a, well it's, it's technically given a long entry, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't go by it because number one, code two says go down. Number two, um, it's just, look at it, just going sideways. So, it may continue to do that for a while. You don't really want to get caught up into that. So uh, it came and got me. I wasn't able to make much today. I think that's like, what, uh, 16 ticks? It's not much, but it's positive. You know, every day you want to try to keep positive instead of going negative. It always helps because you always go forward. It just builds up and builds up and builds up. And um, I wasn't able to do much today, but I'll do better tomorrow. You know, every day is going to be different. That that's just the way, the best way to say it is that every day is going to be different. Oh, but let me show you something. See how it's moving up? Because it got a code one to go long here. You know, you never know how high it might go. Um, I could have easily have avoided that loss right there simply by waiting. 
I could have just waited to see if both of them would say short or if one would go short, one would go long. That's what just happened. One went short, one went long. It's, apparently it looks like the long one. But I wouldn't trust it to go up because code 2 says go down. And code 2 only gone 11 ticks. So yesterday it went 20. Or yeah, yesterday it went 20. So it's not been going a whole lot, but it did go 20, not 11. So it's probably going to go down more. Um, so code two overrides code one, so I wouldn't really want to take that. That's why I was going short because I wanted to go short, thought it would go down more, but it didn't do it. Not yet, anyway. Got me out. Tight stop. And I still end the day with a profit, but I'm going to call it a day now. Wasn't such a good day, but not every day can be. Some days are losses. Some days are big struggles. Actually, there are not going to be any more big struggles because I'm not going to free trade the code anymore. I'm just going to precision trade the code, which is what I've been doing. And ever since I started precision trading the code, I have not lost a trade. So, you know, that's how you do it. And it isn't hard. And for you code traders out there, you see what I'm doing. So, as you can see, this is pretty simple stuff. But not every day can be a spectacular day, though, obviously. I will be back tomorrow. Tomorrow is Thursday for some more trading. And um, I'll try to do better tomorrow. But I'll take whatever the market gives to me. Whether it be really good or whether it be a loss. Whatever it is. But I'll do my best. Use the code. Do my best. Take what the market gives to me. Every day is different. Don't put yourself in a box and, and have to do something. Do the best you can. You want to have to do something? Just do the best you can. All, all times. Patience, discipline, use the code. I'll be back tomorrow. Happy trading out there, traders. And I hope you're learning something.